Absolutely, Adam. Joining me now is Nina Rosine. She is a clinical dietitian at UR Medicine's uh, Center for Community Health and Prevention. Her focus is obviously on nutrition, but we're talking about cholesterol as well right now. And a lot of people struggle with keeping that cholesterol level in the healthy range. Um, what are some ways to tackle that problem? Well, specifically, we're looking at the LDL cholesterol that we want to be lowered, um, especially because if it's a over 100, it can increase your risk of heart disease. And the foods that can really boost that LDL cholesterol are foods high in saturated fats and those are foods that are animal products such as beef uh, dairy and also coconut oil and coconut milk can also increase it so are we talking about a large-scale change in diet here if you're struggling with high blood pressure lowering bad cholesterol or is, is it a major change I wouldn't say it's a major change because you can find ways to not necessarily just completely omit all these products, but find ways to decrease them throughout your day. And maybe instead of using uh, beef for tacos, you use black beans. Just simple swaps like that that can really make a difference. I have to say that working with a nutritionist on this would be uh, optimal for mm -hmm. people like me who just need somebody to guide us along so we're not steering the entire ship ourselves. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yes. A dietitian can definitely help you make those changes, and uh, especially if you have specific dietary needs and habits that you want to talk about. Yeah, definitely seeing a dietitian would help. All right. Thank you, Nina. We're going to let you get back to the phone.